Yesterday, I was super productive in school and finished six school assignments, but I only baked three muffins. However, today I spent more time baking muffins and thus I baked 12 muffins, but I only finished three school assignments. How does this relate to countries and economics? That's a great question. Let's pretend for a second that you live in a country called Econville that only produces two goods, oil and strawberries. Okay. Yep. However, there's only a limited amount of resources that the country has and therefore must allocate the resources between producing oil and strawberries. To illustrate this idea, there is the production possibilities curve or PPC, also known as the production possibilities frontier. The PPC shows all of the possible combinations of two goods, in this case, oil and strawberries, that can be produced with the limited amount of resources and technology that Econville has. Every single point either on the curve or below the curve is a possible combination that Econville could produce for oil and strawberries. The combinations that are on the curve are efficient, whereas the combinations below the curve are inefficient because resources are being underutilized. In this case, the curve isn't linear. It's bowed out. Why? As we produce increasingly more of a good, we are giving up the other good in greater amounts. Why is that? This is because not all of the resources that Econville has are equally suited towards producing oil and strawberries. When Econville first allocates some resources towards strawberries, they only give up a little bit of oil because they are first using the land that is great for producing strawberries, but terrible for oil. However, as they keep allocating more and more resources towards strawberries, they give up more oil, because the land that they are using to produce strawberries is not as great for producing the fruit as when they only produced a little bit. Oh, okay, sounds cool. Definitely. Now, let's assume that another country, Microville, produces only two goods, pens and pencils. Since the resources for producing these two goods are very similar, the PPC would be linear, meaning that as they produce more pens, they give up constant amounts of pencils. The PPC, no matter what shape, illustrates the idea of trade-offs. We will always have to give up some of one good in order to receive more of another good. Nice! You can also see that in my case. When I bake more muffins, I have to give up some school assignments to do, and vice versa. That's right! Hopefully, you've learned more about production possibilities. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And be sure to check out our other economics videos. Thank you for watching.